Welcome back to Talk To Me with the coach, Mike Lee Maiden, as we're on the road once again, taking youngsters behind the scenes for Major League Baseball. And we got the man here, B. Phillips. How we doing? What's up, man? How you doing? All right. We're taking our youngsters behind the scenes of what it's like being a Major League ball player. Now, you the man over here with the Reds, so. Mm, that's what tell, they say. <laughs> that's what they say. <laughs> tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, you know, uh, name Brandon Phillips. I'm um, from Stone Mountain, Georgia. Mm -hmm. uh, I was going to go to University of Georgia to play basketball and, uh, and baseball, but I chose to uh, take my career path to the baseball world. I feel like uh, I have a, a longer career, and plus I was better at baseball anyway, so yeah, that, so that that's one thing I really did. And um, other than that, man, um, I'm just the type of guy that go out there and play the game the best way I know how, try to be successful, try to find, stay within myself to find something that be, be consistent. And, um, you know, just enjoy this game while I can because I feel like I'm going to be more retired than I am playing this game. Well, you know, you say you basketball and baseball. You're trying to make my TV audience think you're an athlete. Oh, I'm one of, hey, trust me, I'm that. I can do everything. You know, I can do anything. I can bowl. I can shoot pool. I mean, I, I, hey, I, my mama gave me the jeans, man, and, and I just try to show the world that I can do everything. Yeah, I, I think you're selling wolf tickets to my, my audience out here. That's what he thinks. <laughs> so... Let's talk about you coming up in Georgia. Now, some of us in the, up here, what we call in North, are called your country boy down in I'm Georgia. I'm a down south country boy. That's what I am. So what was that experience like? What was high school ball like for you? Uh, high school ball, man, I, I really didn't know what I was going to do. I thought I, everybody thought I was going to be football. Everybody thought I was going to be basketball. But baseball was the last sport that everybody thought I was going to play. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to play all three sports. And then my mom, she was like, you know what? Um, you got to pick one sport to, so you can concentrate on that sport to get better at what you're doing. Because playing all three sports in high school, it, you know, you can just get better at one sport. So, you know, my sophomore year, my mom was like, you know what? Just pick one sport. And she said, whatever sport you have the most letters in, that's what you're going to stick to. Well, well, you know, I had my football stack. The stack was like just, you know, like this. Mm -hmm. Then I had the basketball stack. It was like this. And then the baseball stack was like, hey, oh, man. She was like, well, you better take your black boy going to play some baseball. There you so go. that's what happened. There you go. You put it out there now. That's what it's about. <laughs> so, you know, I used to coach college baseball. I scouted for five major league teams. Okay. Every kid dream of playing in the big leagues. When did this become, start to become a reality in your mind that this may happen for you? Well, um, you know, like I said, uh, and it all started in high school. You know, I didn't really know that much about Major League Baseball. When I, I mean, I'll tell you one thing that, that I really didn't know about baseball, because when I got drafted by the Montreal Expos, and I was like, oh, snap, I got drafted by the Expos. I'm about to take somebody's job and everything. I can't wait. Because, you know, in other sports, when you get drafted, you go right to the you go right to the, to the NBA or the NFL, you know what I'm saying, uh, when you're finished. But in baseball, I looked at this lineup. I said, okay, I'm about to take his spot. I'm going to take his spot. Nah, I was in the minor league ball. I was like, what in the world is this? Where the freak is Jupiter, Florida? I ain't going to Jupiter. So, you know, I didn't really know that much about baseball, but I grew to love it. And, um, you know, I try to work my butt to, to really stay in the major leagues. I mean, the easiest thing about baseball is getting to the major leagues, and the hardest thing is staying. And a lot of kids think you guys just wake up, as you said, and in the big leagues. They don't understand the dues you guys have to pay along the way. Oh, it's a lot, man. I mean, the baseball, is, it's, it's an everyday sport, man. I mean, you play baseball every day. It's, it's, it's harder than what people think, but, you know, we make it look easy on TV. But, you know, um, if you just got to find something that really motivates you. It could be, it could be anything. It could be money. It could be, it could be buying your mom a house. It could be girls. It could be whatever you want. I'm just saying whatever, you, whatever motivates you, but you got to find something that motivates you. You know what I'm saying? You got to find something that motivates you to be successful in this game because, you know, if you just go up there and just go up, go up and approach the game without any goals or anything, then most likely you'll be back in the jungle. What about some of the players that was your mentors as you was coming up? Well, I had Ellis Burks. I had Ellis Burks. Oh, that's beautiful, Skip. Oh, yeah. Um, I had Ellis Burks. I had that guy, Barry Bonds. I mean, just talking to those guys, King Griffin, when he played over here. I mean, I had a lot of guys uh, that really helped me out along the way, but one person that really kicks my butt all the time is Eric Davis and Joe Morgan. Those two guys really put their foot in my butt when I need to get my butt together. And I really thank those guys for all the success I had and for them to really stick with me all these years. You named some pretty big heavyweights now. I mean, hey, I've been around for a minute, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Only hang around the best. That's what it's all about. So, man, how many more years do you think you're going to put into this game? Well, I'm going to keep on playing until they kick me out. You know, I mean, I, I want to be one of the type of guys when I retire from the game, I can say that I gave all blood, sweat, and tears in this game, and they kicked me out of the game instead of myself retiring when I want to retire. But I want to do it for these guys to kick me out of this game because I don't want to get the edge be like, man, I think I can play another year and then come back from retirement to really try to get some things going. So I just want to keep on playing until they kick me out.
And let me ask you this last question, because I know you got to get focused, zeroed in on the game. Well, I'm not focused, man. Oh, I mean, it's, it's supposed to rain today, baby. Well, we're supposed to rain sell today. the audience. <laughs> they don't know that. <laughs> Hey, hey, this is how we do it. We have fun, you, baby. You, you talking about show, hey, man. Hey, I'm not blowing a show. This is real life with your boy BP. You know what I'm saying? I keep it 100. But go ahead. What's the question? Well, since you put it that way. And you, if shit you get rained out, I guess you're going over there to see D. Rose what? tonight. What? Huh? I'm going to watch the Bulls do work. That's what it's all about. Watch my boy D. Rose, you know what I'm saying, do his thing. But, uh, I mean, of course I would love to play today. But um, I'm not going to lie to you. But if it, if it get rained out today, thank you, Lord. That's all I got to say. Because, you know, I got tickets on deck. I can't wait. And there's going to be some debuts at the game, too. Ooh. He's showing out. He's showing but, out TV. Oh, this, is me all the, this is me all the time. So you Keep just, you you just, you just wasn't ready. Right you know what I'm saying? You wasn't ready. Uh, let me ask you. When you walked in that locker room for the very first time, mm -hmm. got that call up to the big leagues and saw your uniform, what was that feeling like? Wow, man, it was a dream come true. I felt like I was Superman, you know I mean? Uh, just walking in and just knowing that all the hard work that you put in finally paid off. I mean, you know, it just showed you like, wow, you know, I need to keep on doing my job so I can have all my fans and have my family make them proud. And, you know, and, and, the, and the number one thing when I got to my locker, I was like, mama, we made it. That was it. And now you got your name. Now I got my stuff, man. Now I got 10 years in on deck. <laughs> Coach with the man, B. Phillips. Hey, man, nice all talking right, to you,